Let's say you are in a Zoom meeting and you need to share just a portion of your screen. Now, why might that be useful? Because, for example, I teach online classes where I facilitate timed exercises and I want to just share a portion of my screen with the instructions. So, for example, on the lower left corner of my screen, you can see I've given instructions to students and I have a timer, you know, here. Uh, I, I have a separate video where I show you how I create the timer and things like that. Uh, you can look below for that. But um, so let me show you how to share just a portion of your screen on Zoom. So in, in a Zoom meeting, you click on share screen as usual. Now, usually you're on this basic tab where you can share your different windows and apps, things like that. But I'm going to click on advanced here and that's where you, you will see the portion of screen. And so I'm going to double click on this here, double click, t click twice. And now you have this little uh, thing, whoops, you have this little thing, uh, which is actually, you can click and drag the top part around. That's the portion of the screen that you're sharing on Zoom. And so you can also click and drag. Usually I think Zoom starts with something like this size when you share a portion of your screen. And um, I don't need it that big. So I click and drag this down to the lower left corner, just li aligning it just to the lower left corner. And I click and drag the corner down so that it's sharing just this portion of the screen. So that way, when I'm facilitating my exercise, all they see, all my students see, is this corner of the screen. Now, one other thing is that they're also going to see uh, your video on the top right, or if you have other participants in the class, they will see their video. And so to make it less distracting for them, once you start the screen share, you can click on this icon, this little flat icon here. By the way, you might, might be wondering what's my cluttered here. These are different sticky notes for different exercises that I'm running, which is why it's very useful to share just a portion of your screen so that, you know, I can share this note and this note and this timer and they don't see any other part of my screen. And the other nice thing, oh, I was going to show you to, to end your video, to prevent your video from being seen or everyone else's video, click on the little uh, line icon here and that will hide the video so they only see this as their full screen. They don't see this tiny little thing. They see this as the full screen share on Zoom. And um, this is why I have this instruction here to exit full screen, double click. I, you know, the stu some students don't know how to do that. The nice thing about sharing this part of the screen is now I can work, you know, I can work on my teaching notes on this part of the screen. They're not seeing any of this. They're only seeing this part. So that's a really useful tip for those of you who are teachers uh, to, to be able to share just a portion of your screen. And the, the nice thing is next time you, um, you share in the same class again, you double click on portion of the screen, the size is already done for you in that meeting. So you may want to, uh, before your students come in, you know, um, into the Zoom meeting, you may want to do the share screen, advance portion of the screen and adjust the window so that uh, when you share it later, uh, you already have that size. So I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, go ahead and comment below.